might think I do. She would normally be running crafting and animal-assisted therapy workshops to help people through tough times. But when she found herself unable to welcome visitors, Laura Armitage wanted to keep spirits up with a community art project that people could take part in from their own homes. And so from a scrap of an idea grew these huge canvases made up of 79 individual pieces done by volunteers, each one unique and telling its own story. So the pieces of canvas went out to people uh, all over the borders. I put it up on my Facebook page, people started getting in contact. The brief was really simple. The brief was use your one foot square, uh, any medium to depict something that had given you strength throughout lockdown. So it was really straightforward and something that people, I think, could really kind of get to grips with and personalize. And it was amazing. You know, 79 canvases later, <laughs> I, had, I had this this project that had come together. One contributor was Margot Montgomery, whose square showed her own lockdown creativity. During the pandemic, Margot turned to crafting to get her through and has been using her skills to host free online classes. Hi everyone and welcome to uh, this week's Margot Makes video. Um, and today we're going to be making a hug. It started um, by people asking me if I could help them make a rainbow for their windows um, on Zoom. Um, 30 minutes of craft for free um, every week during lockdown um, using materials that people would have around the house. So you can always draw in your, your maybe your favourite outfit. So I think it's really helped people's well-being during lockdown, um, including myself. Um, at first I was um, staying at home, working from home, so I wasn't seeing very many people. Um, so it was great for me just to keep in touch with people um, once a week um, and give them a bit of joy in what otherwise was a worrying time. Margot used her canvas to reflect her experiences, turning them into art. And that, along with all other contributions, have now been put up in Borders General Hospital. I'm so happy with it. I mean, you know, they look incredible together. Um, everyone really poured their hearts and souls into this. And, you know, there's an index that's going to hang alongside it that has all the makers' names and everybody gave a statement. You know, there's so many stories here. You know, there's, I think, so much goodwill in the borders and there's so much talent in the borders as well. And I just feel so proud of everybody. A spokesperson from Borders General Hospital said, it is inspiring to see such a creative and collective response from the Borders community. For the next year, these canvases will display strength and hope to our patients, visitors and staff during these challenging times. Jennifer Cordingly, ITV News, Elston.